The Hong Kong government's recent move to allow Hong Kong REITs to develop real estate assets removes a key impediment to the industry's growth. This policy will potentially free 4.4 billion US dollars for property development, although we expect the investment process to be gradual. Hi, this is Victor Young of Admiral Investment. In this episode, we will discuss why the ability to develop can diversify strategies taken by REITs. Permitting development allows for strategy diversification. Not every REIT may be suitable to pursue development activities. REITs are designed to produce relatively stable but growing income streams, and successful REIT regimes allow for multiple ways to achieve this goal. Some strategies do not have development at all. Some Hong Kong REITs, for example, have successfully pursued multi-year asset enhancement programs to create value for their shareholders. For many REITs, the option to develop allows them to develop assets of their property type. The classic example is that a retail REIT may develop a new mall for the REIT's own operation. This allows for two potential benefits. First, asset development provides an additional growth driver. For example, industrial REITs typically maintain a regular development pipeline. An industrial REIT with 50 assets may build an additional 3 assets per year, creating some development gains. As a result, these industrial REITs consistently grow at a slightly faster pace than rental income growth alone. In addition, development also allows for many value-add plays. For example, one desirable strategy is to expand a successful asset, such as a major mall or an office cluster, by acquiring adjacent land to develop. Some retail REITs have expanded successful malls two or three times its original size. Office landlords may build more office buildings close to their major assets. Because the existing assets are successful, this expansion strategy lowers development risk. A second benefit is potentially more important. As its portfolio ages, a REIT needs development capability to redevelop its assets. This allows REITs to maintain their long-term competitiveness. Otherwise, REITs will either have to manage an older and trust less competitive portfolio, or to sell the older assets to someone else for redevelopment. Neither is value maximizing for the REITs shareholders. Multiple studies, including our Apria paper, have shown that REITs may have a lower cost of capital due to transparency and other factors. Ultimately, in a well-run REIT market, REIT operators have the confidence that they can raise equity and debt as long as they bring good acquisitions or development opportunities to their investors. Investors, on the other hand, pay more attention when REITs are perceived to be value-creating. Ultimately, a REIT's growth depends on not just the rise and fall of the real estate market, but also value creation bought by its strategies. Development capability offer one well-tested strategies to the mix. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel. Until then, see you next week.